All right. Well, hello, friends, and welcome back. This is the finale of the Red Ketchup Mod Learn How to Play series here on the Bluebelly83 channel. Bluebelly Gaming, I should say. Uh, if you've been with me through this whole series, I just want to say thank you so much. It's been so much fun. Uh, it's as if you've looked at the channel, I'm getting my feet wet with this whole process and I've really enjoyed, uh, enjoyed it. So I don't want to go on too long here, but there are so many things I still want to show you that you can do with this mod pack. So I'm going to show as many as I can in a reasonable amount of time. Um, so what we're looking at here, you can see this Southern trading post that accepts anything. We got the seed merchant who brought us quince seeds. Now that's for an orchard. They're sort of like pears if you don't know what quinces are. But I, part of what I wanted to show you was these guys. Remember the royal armor and royal weapons that we were making down here? We got some. Look at the value, right? This is why it's so important to build these chains uh, because what you would have gotten for a gold bar plus an iron plus a piece of wood or whatever wouldn't be anywhere near this amount of value, so it's totally worth it. So let's see how we can do here. Can we afford these quince seeds? Oops. <laughs> I guess we got a screenshot out of that. Uh, we'll see. Whoa, right right away with just the, the number of royal weapons, we could buy these quince seeds. What I tend to like to do, just <clears throat> to keep some of everything on hand, is to see... Well, I, I, we, I might go ahead and get rid of the gold rings, uh, but then uh, maybe do like 20 of these, oh, 20 of these, and 20 of these. Okay, that's too many. See, I'm, I'm bad at this on-the-fly math here, but we will, we will get to a good number here. <clears throat> Now that gets us, you know, it'll deplete these two, but it will get us our quinces, and there will still be some of these fancy weapons and armor available for the next trader that comes through. So we're going to go ahead and say thank you so much for that. We'll dismiss that guy. Uh, now I will say I did a little bit off screen, um, including putting an orchard in here. I did a little bit off screen because there's a lot that I want to show you uh, and I, sh I should uh, pause it when the weather gets nice just so that it's clear so I can show you all the different things I want to show. Oh, I, I hesitated. I was finishing my sentence and that trader left. That was probably the one thing I needed to save the day. Okay. So I built us a few things here. I expanded a little bit of this uh, agricultural center. I, I built a canal up here that I'm going to show you. I built some stone docks. I, I'm so excited to tell you about all these things. I, I really, if you haven't figured out by now, I really love this game. And I love how you can uh, produce so many cool things. And... It gives you a real sense of determining your own kind of fate. Uh, all right, so we got emerald and topaz. Let's go ahead and do emerald then. Make some necklaces. Okay, I took this little extra area here that was in the middle of this industrial block, and I sp I split it in half with a dirt road. I also put in some. These are brick roads now. The people walk faster on them. It did deplete our brick supply a little bit doing all these brick roads, but we're up and, and producing bricks at a decent rate now because that whole time we were ma we were pulling clay out and not making anything with it, so there's quite a bit of clay. Uh, so they're taking a while. But we're running low on storage, oddly enough, with all that storage there. So I put in more here. We've got some uh, quite a few bricks in there. And then... Uh, I put in, this is one of the corner buildings. If you'll go to the red ketchup mod and then you click on the corner tab, any one of these, you can get to these various tools. The only ones, I haven't built the apothecary for you yet, 
we've done a bakery it was a different style but we've done a bakery we've done a blacksmith we've done uh, I don't think we've done a grocery yet but that's something I could show you a library operates like a like a school so maybe we'll add one of those the pottery maker uses clay we could add one of those a shoemaker uses leather to make uh, accounts basically like uh, clothing the tailor we've done a tavern oh did I miss another trader that's funny the tavern the theater oh yeah the theater <laughs> This, uh, I, I have to show you a theater, largely because um, they're just so cool. How about this corner? That's perfect. Roof tile, brick. But I want you to be able to see it well. I'm going to put it in like this. The theater beside the school, that makes sense. Anyways, sorry for the digression there. Um, there's even a barn you could do on the corner lot there. And if you look at the roof on these things, so like let's let's take for example this one. If you look at the way he did the roof, it's going vertical and horizontal. So you could fit it into any roof line. Now I screwed up because I put mine between a foundry and this three story. But if I wanted, I could go into the red ketchup thing here, and I could go over to this one. And what did I do? I did wood. I could go to to this second floor, and look at that. I could put this multi-story second floor while well, I put a road in here. Maybe that's not why it's letting why it's not letting me do that, but you can make these corner buildings a part of your roof line is what I'm saying um, it's not this is a bad example I, I really shouldn't have put this building in the middle of a street but anyways I wanted to show the blacksmith here uh, one of the reasons why I like the corner blacksmith is it allows you to bump to two people if you need them we're hovering right around 100 tools right now so I don't know that I need that but uh, maybe we'll start making some steel tools down here uh, I like these the, you know obviously the carbon tools are the most effective uh, strongest so or not most effective what I mean is they last the longest so maybe that'd be a good idea to have him doing some carbon tools because he's right across the street from the coal mine uh, and uh, most of it's being stored over here so he shouldn't have far to go to get what he needs I guess they processed all the silver we had. We might not have had a much, enough silver, so we'll put him back on iron. Okay, so what else did I build for you guys? I wanted to show you this little area. And these guys are still producing the jewelry that we're trying to sell. Uh, I also put in this town square, uh, town center, I guess it's called. Which town hall? It's from the base game. They're, they're, that's not unique to the mod. But what, uh, one of the th reasons why, oh boy, we could build some houses. Actually, I built the church. This, this is in Red's mod. You go to Red Ketchup here, and then you go to this tab. These are all things that, uh, there's a medieval school that is unique to this mod. It might be in the Mega Mod too, but this school looks so cool. That'd be, that would be nice. I mean, what I could do is create a little town center and build some of these things. But it is, he's got a wood chapel, which is what I built, a little wood chapel. But he's also got a little stone chapel. I went with wood just because I had a lot more lumber laying around at the time. And unlike, <laughs> it's already full. Unlike some of the other things, you don't have to worry about people's comfort in heating the chapel. So I, I sort of cheated on that. Man, that storage barn is full. Okay, so one thing I did this uh, I wanted you to see. So I, I cut a bunch of trees out. But do you see this? That's a crate of apples. Because we've got apples up here. You can see these are little apple trees. It's late summer, so you can see the apples. And then these are little cherry trees. You can see the little cherries. So that you're going to start seeing there's, a, there's some cherries here. That's why I love these. 
because not only look at our wood situation we're great not only do you get a lot of wood because they're constantly chopping down dead trees but they're gonna plant these so when we go to the gatherer I actually should probably put another gatherer in this one when you go to the gatherer we're gonna see see there's 224 apples I'm surprised there's not any cherries listed there's some from last year getting these cherries because this person is going down into here and they're going up into these so really if you wanted to you could put instead of overlapping like I did you could put a gather literally right beside it and you could do one here and one down here and then you wouldn't lose out on any of those extra fruit but that's really helping our food situation right now look at all these resources we have okay tons to tap into but here's something I really wanted to show you uh, I set this up because the boat can go in these little these little creeks so what I did for you because I wanted everybody to see red ketchup has a canal pack it has a canal in this pack and I think this is forgive my bad cinematography here I I think this is so cool now I did I'll show you which one I did I'll show you how to select it you go to the red ketchup tab you select the canal set and I did the old wood because it was just logs and I had plenty of logs but they look even cooler if you do stone and you can do sand bricks and red bricks and old stones but here's the crazy thing like you click on the one I did then you pick 4x which is what I did but then there's also 6x and 8x uh, and when you go in here look at all these options now the thing I would tell you is you're gonna have to just open up one of these and play around with it because there's so much to it oh there's the bridge I was looking for one of these okay so there's the three-way intersection but what you have to look for and you're gonna have to like pause your video and zoom in because these arrows are so tiny because they have to be uh, but there's like these docks then there's fishing but it, it it all depends on the flow of the water uh, what you use for the straights there's these longer straights or these little short fillers uh, so what I did oh great rain that'll help visibility uh, what I, I put a fishing dock in here this fishing dock last season got me 180 probably because I didn't put any housing up here that's my own fault uh, there are not dock houses but uh, we could put shoreline housing along the sides here and actually since I was saying we're running low on houses maybe I will do a little bit of that we did we have bricks but they're way down there so it might actually be better to just do a couple of these for the people that work up here okay and now this is a mill which we don't really have a grain that's producing extra extra you know so that we could make flour there so I might say don't worry about that but I, I am gonna try to clear the sides here a little bit well that might be a little too much it's, it's, I mean more like this just to improve visibility along the side of the dock this isn't even staffed yet but we've got 19 workers so no big deal um all right grapefruit seeds that wouldn't be bad i feel like with this season whatever we're at <clears throat> wherever we are it doesn't seem like much of a tropical place so i don't know that i wouldn't really care that much about grapefruits myself if it was more of a tropical place maybe i would you know pause this and put extra workers here and bring a bunch of stuff up but I just I can't really be bothered but what he's gonna do uh, there's some dock storage but what he's gonna do is come down here to this little stream so he came in this side and then he's gonna go through here which I think is cool to watch them going along this little stream and he's gonna come back out here to the main area and go all right, let's spin us back around. I've got some other things to show you. I set up a lot of stuff that, to build that's still finishing. And really, I meant to put a few bridges across here, and I lost track of that 
particular option. So this might be foolish, but what I'm going to do, let's see here, if I can identify, I don't want to, see, I, I got this one, one square off. <laughs> it's really, they're pretty hard to lay out. I'll just go ahead and throw that out there. Okay, so that canal straight trash this and remove it. I think I'd rather remove this one. I think Well, anyways, uh, I'm not going to spend time in the tutorial trying to figure out. Actually, right here would be a perfect place to put a bridge because they'd come right out of the tunnel. It's hard to get accurate. There we go. So this is a canal straight that they're going to rip out. And then I can show you how to, how to put one in. Anyways, let's go ahead and snag these rocks and things off of here. I put in this tunnel just to because the people were having to go around really far. But I put in more uh, fields. I didn't staff them yet because we're doing great on food. We are, however, not doing great on firewood because I started making lumber like a dingus. Uh, okay. What is what is up? What are we doing here? What what do we I did I didn't mean that I didn't mean to tell that it's just chill okay so uh, oh that went crooked these are supposed to all just look real fancy like all three of these windmills I wanted to show you this one because I think they're some of the coolest buildings in the game and two because I like this this sort of cinematic idea of maybe. If I can get the camera to, to do what I want it to, of, you know, the having the windmills with the amber waves of grain here back behind everything. I put in this, this is out of Red's mod pack. I put in this um, bridge just to speed up the workers uh, being able to cross over. Because when the boats come down the canal, like, I probably could have done this one less. I could have done a couple fillers. I could have put a gate in here so that it didn't stick out like that. There's a lot of fine details that you can go back and tweak and try to get right. But the main thing I wanted to do was make sure that these people were able to, to do their work. Um. And there's so much that is going back and forth between these two things. Now, what I'm thinking is a little housing area around here might be good. So I'll show you the how to put in. You know, I saw I showed you the the grocer in in here, the grocery in the corner building, but he also has. buildings they're not corner buildings that's a regular house maybe they are the corner buildings I was thinking that there was another in the market area that's what it is He's got this in the market area, this little grocery store, and it has a nice big range to it. So I could put this somewhere along here, maybe right there beside the storage. And then anybody living within this circle will come here to get their food. That way they're not having to run back to the main area. And these are really cheap to build. They're only 24 wood and 36 stone. It'll go up soon. And then all the housing along here that I do will, they'll all go with that. 
Now I'm going to do a little bit of three-story housing. Old church stones sounds great. We'll do... They're going to need some roof tiles. So I'll make sure that we're producing some roof tiles down here. Roof tiles. We're still doing charcoal. Okay. That's probably why the fuel went down so much because of the charcoal. I've been using charcoal in production. Let's go ahead and bump this up to a thousand. There's so many things. I feel like every episode I'm like, sorry, I'm clicking everywhere. But uh, it's it's really a, a difficult task to make sure you, you keep up with everything. Because if I place this and I don't make sure that they're going to be roof tiles, it's not going to actually build it. And that's not good for anybody. So you want to remember when you do these three stories that you need one space on each side. So I'll put two of these beside each other here. I'll do one. And I don't often do the white front, but I'll go ahead and do it for this. And then, boom. Now, just for fun, again, we need to leave one space there. We will leave. We'll do that. And now for the for the roof I'm gonna try some F variants here because we did that one they're all red red roof ends okay let's do let's do that one just for fun so now that's three stories that we were basically putting six homes in still good on food 15,000 we have watermelons, peanuts. We're going to have quinces coming in soon. Oh, we're, we maxed out food. Okay. We'll bump that up again. Uh, we've got 37 chickens. We've got our 12 sheep. Actually, I, I, I should put in another sheep pasture. All right. Sorry, we were spun around here. I'm doing too many things at once. But uh, what, what is this saying? It's full on construction. Why is there even a limit to that? Pile it up, friends. Okay, so now we have three of these. Since it's not these two, it must be this one. And, oh, he's going backwards. That's funny. Oh, more sheep. Well, we'll just we'll just have our sheep do their own you know, multiplication thing. Since we're over here near the edge, I think this is a... Is that the edge? Yeah, that's the edge. Let's go ahead and put... We'll put our next sheep pen like there. Put a little road beside it. And we will put stockpile there so they can, when they cut down the trees, they'll have somewhere to put that. All right, we've already got our grocer in. Now we'll put one person in there. And that'll supply these houses if I decide to build some housing over here, which is the plan. And then even, you know, I don't know if I want to do this all fields. And then I could put maybe some housing along this side because that would all be where that grocer is. The, the key is we want to make sure that we're limiting how much people have to have to walk. Uh, to get things. Okay, so the cool thing about the theater, uh, of course it's raining when I want to zoom in and show you. Look at there, there's a little, you know, acting logo here. And so people walk in off of the street and they buy a ticket and that allows them to see a show. So the, the what it produces is tickets, right? Nothing that's quote unquote good for the city, but it's one of those things that for cultural goods, I, th I think it looks neat. I think it's neat to have. Um, I'm not sure if I can take credit for coming up with the idea, but I definitely had suggested things like that to Red over the years. So, you know, if he, if he enjoyed it, then great. So we need to figure out where we're at with the production on some of these things. We've got... Okay, we're full up there. We can check our town hall and see. We still need more housing. 
we don't want a population boom too much but oh goodness we're already at 25 minutes on the video let me I'm gonna have a real hard time putting this city down uh, I gotta be honest I'm definitely gonna want to keep playing this one it's got a lot of character for for just being a tutorial uh, I didn't necessarily anticipate that it would be such a unique little town so we've got an amethyst and a sapphire and a topaz and we gotta put gold necklaces in here gold necklaces What do we say? Sapphire and a topaz. Alright, we'll do the pendants and then we'll do the topaz. And so, one thing that would be smart, I could put up another foundry and have it going with gold and silver all the time. And then I could maybe put these guys on the fine armor or the noble armor and the noble weapon and have them use just silver and then I could have the jewelers using just gold. You know, there are ways to go about this to be more efficient than what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just, I'm just basically having fun with it and uh, not taking it super seriously. Uh, but you know, to each their own. If if that's if you want to have a more strict approach to the way that you set things up absolutely go ahead and do that uh, it actually might be a good idea for me I didn't do a marketplace but I could do one of those grocers like maybe here and it would get all these buildings um, however you want to 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 set that up is is sort of at the discretion of the gamer do we have any grain in excess that we could put one of the windmills to work grain okay we have oats 2,000 oats that that's exactly what I'm looking for so we'll put this one to work on oats okay it picked that one I don't I don't know why I picked that one we'll do that all right so that that'll get producing oats there are a few other buildings that I put in that are part of the red ketchup mod here while this is vacant I will show you so you go to red ketchup you go to the to the kind of canal you want to build I got 4x here's my bridge over troubled water see it's sideways that's the wrong way for a bridge so I'm gonna put it here and it should fit like a glove like a glove why why doesn't it want to fit there hello like a like a like a glove well hmm I guess that plan didn't work is it gonna go through there yeah see it, it doesn't care it's got no chill I guess we'll rip this one out and and try again but oh my look at all these seeds what are you doing why are you bringing them all up here Oh, glory. And it's general goods, which means they'll accept food. I could trade a lot of kale. Hmm. All right. So, honestly, that would be cool and all, but we're doing fine on food, and I'm not going to lose any sleep over that guy. I want to show you just a few more things and close out the video. So let's check this out. Whoops wrong way but here we go let's sail on in here so check this building out this is one of my favorite buildings that red designed in this mod it is a drifters dock it gathers floating logs and it's not amazing right it's not even getting as many as a typical forester but it's such a cool concept these logs that you can imagine just drifting in here now I don't know about placement it doesn't have a radius and I don't know if having it beside this was bad. I don't know how much it measures current. I think it just pulls things out of the water uh, at a certain X rate. But I like it. I think it's a cool thing. And I like to have it in my city. 
Um, so this is what the stone dock looks like. It's beautiful, right? Is it not? And you can do a whole bunch of buildings. Here, I'll show you all the different things. So these are the wooden docks, and then these are the stone docks. You can do houses and storage and uh, administrative buildings and food. And I mean, we could put a tavern out here. Let our people have a drink, you know, on the water out here on the water. You could put it over here by the drifter. Right? Like, how cool would that be to just have a drink out on the water in that really cool tavern? Um, but the the artwork here is absolutely just amazing. Uh, I love I love watching them work. I love watching I, I love playing this this game because of this. Actually, the lighting's amazing right now, so I'm gonna pause it. What else did I want to show you? I also built this granary, which is a, a, a unique building. And I put it here by all the fields because you'll notice it's only for food. Goodness, it's bringing cheese up here all the way from down in the main city. The fish that they're getting on the shoreline, bringing that over here. The peanuts from this field. The flour that we just started making. Eggs that gatherers are getting. Probably the chicken pen down the, down the road here. So it's a really cool building that has a ton of storage. I mean, there's a couple thousand in it already. Uh, and you could, if you wanted, you know, what I could do is put like a row of granaries back here so that once I get this all full of production, there would be a place for that to go. Um, did they build our sheep pen yet? They did not. They started cutting trees down. That's good. Uh, but, okay, so you can see our three-story building here. Look at these old stones with the cool roof. Like, uh, I'm not crazy, right? This is an amazing mod pack. And it completely opens up the game. And then you see things like this. And you think, how did you survive? The, the great clearing. But the grocery store has all this food. And then these people, and these people, and the eventual people who will live here, and the people who will live here, they all have a place to shop. I think that's cool. And I should say, I only built the grocery store, but he also has, wait for it, think about it, here it is, in the market, there's the raw materials, which are what they are. The supplies and goods, so things like tools and whatnot. So you can set up basically your own fabrics and then building materials. So you can basically set up a row of these how these buildings that will look like a downtown, right? You can you can make them look like a downtown along with some fancy houses like this, and make a really sophisticated looking city. You know, I had this rudimentary downtown area when I got started you all watched that unfold as I built these buildings and I didn't really care about making them go together or look aesthetically pleasing but now here we are nearing the end of the of the series or at the end of the series and you've got this great agricultural center you've got this nice burgeoning uh, canal district that's going to have a mixture of commercial, residential. We could even put some production buildings here so that we don't have to be having our people carry things like tools all the way from the blacksmith here, the blacksmith here, all the way up there. So we could put in a foundry and a blacksmith and a mine or multiple mines, maybe a quarry up there. There's so many ways that we could go. And, you know, as I mentioned early in the series, I have every intention of coming over here and to that side so we could we could start our bridge building. Um, one of the things I haven't showed you yet, one of the tabs, is this, the roads. There's different, you could do plank roads, you could do stone brick roads, and then also these unique bridges, stone bridge, red brick bridge, sand brick bridge. I mean the amount of design work you can do is absolutely stunning 
Now, here's another tab that I have not even touched. And some of the other YouTubers that I've watched have shown really incredible ways of, you know, all these different fences. There's different style fences. Like here, you want a green fence? Build a green fence. You know, you can you can put in whatever you want. You can make areas for like, you know, I did this kind of storage. Oh, that's a lot of coal. Nice. Uh, you can make areas that are fenced off. You can do all these different trees. Like if I said, okay, here's a dead area. Let's put some decorative maple trees. And they'll use your saplings. I've got 175. Uh, well, that's herbs. I don't know. but I don't know what the icon is for saplings. But, you know, you've got saplings in storage. You can do these decorative oak trees. Uh, there's exotic trees. There's little bushes if you want to do that. Plenty of flower bushes. Just thousands of hours worth of options that you could set up. Um, let me see if there's any buildings here. Let me just quickly go through the tabs before I let you go. There's a, a malt house that allows you to brew beer. There's a florist. So you can plant flowers. The flowers can then be used in the perfumery. You can make furniture, which would be another one of these kind of trade goods, which actually would be a great idea for my city because I've got 3,000 extra logs. So, you know, you can do something like planting a bunch of extra foresters, those fruit foresters like I did, and then make a furniture industry as your primary export. I love it. You know, you saw these, you saw those, saw all these. There's a candle maker. I, I guess that's standard in in Colonial Charter, but not in the base game. Uh, you can make. There's no fat. There's no animal fat in this one, like there is. I think that's Colonial Charter. Uh, but you can either make can you can make candles out of beeswax. There's a salt mine. I'm getting my salt out of here, but there's this little salt mine. Let's see if I can get somewhere that you can see the artwork on it. It's not ideal. Somewhere open. Here we go. It's not perfect, but it's a cool little salt mine, though. I like the way it looks. I don't typically use it because I don't always rely on salt, but if you want to tan hides, you need salt, and that's another... Um, Another aspect for the corner building for the shoemaker. I should have built one of these so I could go over all the options for you with the shoemaker. Uh, but I want to make sure I got all these first. Jewelry maker, gem cutter, foundry. We did all those. We did all those. So in the corner buildings, some of these I think could stand on their own or could be in other categories. But the apothecary is like a place to get medicine. I didn't even build a clinic in this city, but I mean, I only have just over 100 people, but uh, the apothecary makes different types of potions. So it's not the same as like a clinic where people go if they get sick. The apothecary, there's like a, uh, like a love potion and a healing potion and a few other things. They're, they're kind of silly, but um, I think they can advance the things you can do within the game. And can be kind of fun. So you might want to try one of those. There's a bakery. a bakery. Like I said, the library is like a school. The pottery maker is another export thing. You could build a bunch of clay pits and then make pottery. You know, you could you could make a whole city that's based on pottery and furniture, which would be completely different than what I've shown you. Uh, the shoemaker makes shoes. Like I said, tailor tavern. You could do. You could make alcohol with the tavern and then export the alcohol to get more food. Like now that we've got apples and cherries coming in, the tavern would be great. Uh, theater, I showed you the barn and the stockpile are pretty straightforward. So these administrative buildings, I didn't show you. There's a creepy cemetery. There's uh, one of the coolest buildings in the entire game is this lighthouse in the entire mod. This lighthouse, which you can do instead of a town hall. And you have to put this, it has a little 
thing that's required to be these see these two red squares you have to be on water because it's a lighthouse uh, so you know what I could have done was I could have put this up here instead of doing the town center and then I would have had this right by these beautiful windmills wouldn't that be cool anyways the lighthouse operates the same way you have a person that works in it and then the little light at the top flickers it's cool very cool there's a water mill. I think I showed you that last episode. There's a barber shop. It's a uh, pretty straightforward downtown area that works like a clinic. There's a dentist. Similar kind of thing. There's a clinic. That's uh, And then there's a bathhouse. I love this building. Uh, you need to use the perfume. So there's there's a little bit of a, like a tech tree. There's not really anything written on it. But if you look at that little blue icon, that's that's perfume. So you need to build a perfumery to be able to build a bathhouse. But the bathhouse helps with happiness and health, I think. And then the old barn pub. I typically build these fairly early in the game because they make meals. You need to... There's a bunch of different options for the meals that you can make. But we've reached uh, the... We, we've worn out our welcome is what it comes down to. But here's the thing, y'all. Y'all. I don't really say y'all, but it just came out there. Here's the thing, everyone. If you enjoyed this, if you learned from it, and you would like to see me either continue with this town or start a new town, I'd be happy to do that. If there's something you want to see more of, if you'd like to see a tutorial on one of these specific buildings or on a specific like crop type or animal, or if you would like me to name a city after you, <laughs> and have a theme behind it I'd be I'd be open to that so uh, mostly I'm just thrilled if anyone stuck around this long for the series and for this specific episode and I would absolutely uh, be excited to answer your questions and to play more of this game I was really thinking I was going to get rid of this save when I was done with the series but I just might have to play it a little bit longer Thanks everyone so much for being involved with the series and for encouraging me along with this new this new journey. I'm having a lot of fun with it. All right. Have a great day. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.